get a lot of questions on Backyard Farmer about how to divide perennials. Some are easy, some are a little trickier. And while this is not exactly the time of year when we would be dividing a lot of our grasses, especially the warm season grasses, some of the reasons for division include dead centers in the middle of it, too large, spreading outside their space, want to give a piece to the neighbors, all those reasons for doing the division. So Jeff and I took our sharp spades out and we're going to show you exactly how to do some of the division on some of those tricky plants. So if you have one of these lovely hardy hibiscus at home and it's gotten pretty big or as Kim mentioned, you have a friend that really would like one as well, uh, this is a plant that you can divide. It takes a little bit of effort. They're a bigger plant, um, but certainly it's something that you can divide. This is not something that you want to divide frequently. Maybe, you know, at least every six to 10 years you could do it, but it's not something you want to do annually or anything like that. And so when dividing a plant this large, you want to make sure that you're digging around it and getting as much of the root as possible. You'll gently lift this and then as we get it out, you'll check the root system, make sure that we're in good shape, clean up any um, broken roots or anything that needs trimming. I like to clean them up with my pruners, get things so they're nice and smooth. And then with a, a sharp spade, you can divide it. And really, I wouldn't want to do any more than just dividing it in half. This is not something maybe like some of the grasses or something else we'd look at. You could divide it into smaller pieces, but this is something I would just split in half. Find a good good place to divide it um, and then again put it into your prepared hole you want to bring in some things you want to make sure that the hole has good topsoil or add some compost something like that to get it off to a good start and then make sure that you're keeping it watered as we go through the fall and it should be off to a good start and by spring you'll have yourself two beautiful hibiscus we're going to look at dividing some grasses um, we have our, our cool season grasses, those that have flowered, and you can see this is already done flowering, and we have this nice uh, seed head here that we can see is very ornamental. So this is a, a reed grass. Uh, this particular one's over dam, but Carl Forster is a very popular one. Uh, the warm season grasses, so Indian grass, big blue, little blue, those are typically done earlier in the spring. You can do them this time of year. You know, you may not be quite as successful as you'd like, but you can do it if you do it very carefully. So as Kim mentioned, one of the reasons we want to divide these grasses is because as they, they continue to spread a little, they'll get bigger, they may kind of overgrow their spot. Uh, and the grasses are relatively simple compared to the hibiscus. Again, we want to take as big a root ball as we can. Um, you can split these into smaller pieces. And, and again, as the, the site that they'll be planted into, we want to make sure we have that prepared and ready ahead of time. Give some thought to how you want to have them laid out. And then you can get those installed and then water through the fall and have them ready for spring. So many of our, of our perennials uh, also can be divided this time of year. And again, the same principles that Kim talked about as far as preparing the site ahead of time, making sure that we're taking a good clump out uh, and with these coreopsis, you can see you can pretty easily come in and take out a, a good plant uh, at a time and then you can place them the way you want them. Um, but something like this coreopsis here is a very simple plant that can be moved. Um, and you'll see too with many of these, they have a tendency to die out in the middle. Uh, so one other approach may be to come in and look at adding some compost or something into the middle of some of these plants to help give them a little bit more life going forward. So the long and the short of it is, if you really do need to divide some of these big perennials, choose your season wisely. Make sure you have somebody to help you get that plant out of the ground, but dig the hole where it's going to live first and make sure your tools are sharp.